Hi guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to convert a portrait video into a landscape one using iMovie. A video which is taken vertically on a phone, which works perfectly fine when you see it on a phone, but when you play it on a telly or other big screen devices, it would play with a black background on the sides. And you don't want that. So my first and foremost tip for you guys would be, never take a photo or video holding your phone vertically. This is Arvind and welcome to my channel A Bad Apple. There are different ways of doing it and I'm gonna show you one by one. Let's get straight into the action. Let's drag and drop the video which you want to convert. I'm going to select crop option in their crop to fill. Once I select crop to fill, it will give you a crop box which you can move across your video and set it to wherever you want it. And now you get a proper horizontal video. But the quality of the video would be less when compared to original video. Uh, you can't really see it here because it's just a plain sky in the sea, but you would see the difference if it's a proper video. So the more and more you crop the video, the quality considerably going to reduce for the video. So as you can see now, the quality of the video might be less when compared to the original video which you have taken it, you know, vertically. So another method would be Ken Burns effect. So when you select this option, you have two crop boxes. One is start and the other is end. So basically start crop box is where the video starts and the end crop box shows where the video will end. So I'm gonna make it this little bigger and I want the video to start from the middle and end at the bottom of the video. So let me place it at the bottom press like that and increase it a bit yep now let's see the video so here you go it starts from the middle of the video and while the video progresses it moves to the end which is the bottom of the video and you will not see the middle part now but you can see the bottom part The final method which I'm going to show you is picture in picture method. This is the most favorite method of mine. I generally prefer this one. Say for example, you've got a video which makes no sense if you crop any part of the video. This method is the perfect one for you. First, I'm going to delete this video and move on to backgrounds. I generally prefer black background, but you can pick any one. I'm going to drag and drop it here and get back to my media and drag this on top of it and i'm gonna drag this black background to the length of the top video just like that now i'm gonna select the top video and select video overlay settings and if you click the drop down you'll have picture in picture i'm gonna select this option and see this is picture in picture so i'm going to expand this to full screen i'm going to drag it to the leftmost position if you notice it blacks out when you move to the extreme left so place it just like that so it's it's the left extreme now to get the blur effect there's a cheeky way to do it go on to titles and select full focus drag and drop it extend it to the full length of the video and give empty titles just delete them and here you go it got the blurred left side video this is the first step in achieving a proper blurred video effect 
So I'm gonna save this video, give the name as blur1 and I'm gonna select the quality as medium just to make the save process quicker and easier. Let's click save and select the location. I'm saving it in desktop. Now that the video is saved, I'm gonna get back to projects and press create new movie. And I'm gonna import the blur one video here. And I'm gonna drag and drop it. And also drag and drop this original video. And now I'm gonna drag this original video on top of this blur one. Alright, now I'm gonna follow exact same steps which I did for the previous video. The only difference is I'm gonna move this video to the right extreme so that it leaves the gap in the center which will have our original video. So I'm gonna move it just like that so that it fits in the corner. To get the blur effect, I'm gonna Go to Titles, select Full Focus. I'm going to drag this to the length of the video, just like that. So now you have video on both sides with blur effect. I'm just going to remove the title there, make it empty. If you play the video now, You'll have both the sides, same video playing, but with blurred effect and center piece is still blank where we'll fit in the original video. So one important point which I need to highlight here is make either of the videos audio to zero so that it doesn't overlap. Now I'm going to go ahead and save this file. I'm going to call it as blur2 and save it into my desktop. It is saved now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drag and drop the blur2 video into my media and I'm going to delete all the previous ones which I have in the workplace. I'm going to drag this blur2 video and I'm going to drag this original video on top of it. There you go. You can see now a proper video with both the sides blurred. You can go to video overlay options and position the center video however you want it so that it fits perfectly. I'm gonna go ahead and save it as a final video. And I'm gonna save it in desktop. gonna open it now for you guys to see how it really looks so if you see it's a perfect video it doesn't look odd at all so that's it guys I hope you liked this video if yes please leave a comment and also share it if you think it was useful and don't forget to subscribe for more such videos thank you